Hello and welcome. Now that the necessary safety uh, indicators are done, welcome. This is Pradyuman Maheshwi with an all new season of MXM Live. As some of you are aware, MXM India was built some nine years ago. And ever since we set up on a bright Onam afternoon in September 2011, we've had a special affinity towards audience research, whether it's in television, print, or even radio. Many of us know the circumstances in which BARC or BOD or Broadcast Audience Research Council was emphasized and established. And given that audience measurement doesn't come cheap, it is indeed wise to have a joint industry body doing the exercise. With Barb from the United Kingdom as inspiration, Barb was incorporated in 2010, that is 10 years back. Operations though took off after some five years and the first set of data was published on April 29, 2015. That's five years back. In the very year of launch, it also announced rural audience measurement and now measures 185,000 individuals over 44,000 homes. And that number is set to grow to 55,000 or 60,000. Well, it was scheduled to if COVID-19 hadn't happened. Viewership grew 38% till 2019 and a total of 48.4 trillion viewing minutes were consumed in 2019 alone. Bach currently measures 634 channels and that's a huge number. The future is brighter, given that there are 100 million homes still to get a TV set. We have here with us today, Mr. Sunil Lula, a veteran media person who has worked across the spectrum with broadcasts, entertainment, news, with advertising, and with a large production house. He has spent some quality time with a large digital venture also. Sunil took over the reins at Bark in 2019, that is October 2019. And here we have here with us uh, the man himself, Sunil, congratulations on uh, five years of Bach. I've, I've, I've pulled down a, a glass of bubbly for you. Cheers. I have, cup, I have a cup of coffee and thank you very much. Cheers to you. It goes to everybody who has been associated with Bach, employee and all the stakeholders from the representative industry bodies. You know, uh, it's, 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 it's interesting that uh, you celebrate your fifth birthday of operations tomorrow. And, uh, you know, like, like a... Uh, like a tough schoolmaster, you have TRAI sending you a, a birthday greeting today. Uh, but but you know, I, I'm not going to get into it because I know you've already issued a statement and uh, uh, and all of that, and you're going to obviously uh, respond to it. But uh, uh, your comments, you 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 were on the bark board much before it, it took off operations, uh, and, and and how do you look at the five years that bark has been in business? You know, I think. It's been a tough time for Bach to build what it has built. It's built a panel which is significantly bigger than what existed. Importantly, it's built something that truly represents the stakeholder interest of advertisers, its representative agencies, and obviously the broadcasting community. We need to understand what is this currency that we talk about. The currency is in rupees, right? It's valued in rupees estimated to somewhere being between 30 to 35,000 crore rupees today, right? In advertising terms, take a plus minus, whichever estimate you want to take. It represents that advertising currency. How does it work? It's that currency, which is used by marketeers to build their brands, to fuel the GDP, to fuel the economy. Advertising at the end of the day fuels the economy. And we realize that today more than ever before. This money is traded on the audiences that are built by those channels over all the content and the hours of content that is generated, whether it be in news, whether it be in entertainment, whether it be scripted, reality, or it be, or it be movies. And it caters to a very big industry in terms of human employment over there at the end of the day, directly and indirectly. It's come to stay as a currency and it's come to grow. It's well on its charter and its pathway of what it needs to be done. Let's understand the charter that was set to be established with, with which it was, it was created. It was created to represent all parts of the industry. So advertisers, agencies, broadcasters, big and small news, as well as entertainment and information, lifestyle, whatever you want to call it. It truly represents that. It was created on a model that's been used around the world, but it's better than the model that's been used around the world. It's transparent. It's robust. It always delivers. It's based on the backbone of huge technology, huge data that is there, and huge science. All the 
tough early and well known statistical institutes whether it's the i am the indian statistical institute of india i am in the bada i am jagata have regarded saying that its process is robust and everything they have done and seen about bark seems to be top class uh, we received the same comment whether we work with google whether we work with uh, the barb or whether we work with the broadcasting community in india so i think has done a great job it's got a a, a long way to go ahead uh, in terms of i've set a specific charter that measurement science is at the heart of the business so we should be the best measurement company in the world right we should be best at measuring what we do we need to really be that gold standard that's what we need to do integrity yes yeah, sorry go ahead go ahead integrity is really vital to us what is integrity it's the processes it's the quality we have more than 36 audits that happen across the year in the company so it's the processes that we put out there and most importantly the responsiveness which is listening to our stakeholders and responding to them right because they rely on that thursday 11 o'clock release and the data analytics and the analysis that we do with the industry it's been a privilege and a pleasure to work with the industry i was on the founding board of bark i'm delighted to be working as an executive on behalf of this industry i think it's a while we face we sit in challenging times i believe we've really built a legacy business we really built a currency that is way ahead of what happens in many other markets around the world so you know you you mentioned that you were on the in the founding board uh, do you think bark has achieved what 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 all of you had envisioned at that time from the point of starting to where it is today yes it has it's gone and done that we have some part of our journey still left to go and that will happen we must also understand that you know we are we are responsible to the economics of the industry when the industry doesn't do well we have to temper down when it does well everybody stands to gain so we have to temper to temper to that environment at this point of time today nothing can be television viewership and there is no advertising right it's at the bottom pit so you can't have an environment like this right it's 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 unfair to the system but it is what it is at the end of the day i'm going to ask you an unfair question if you were to give a score from 0 to 10 on 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 how bark is doing what would it be i know you're brutally honest so i, I can uh, uh, kind of hazard to ask you this question so i never give anything 10 on 10 in my life right because there's always room to do better i'd give it 8 on 10 and i'll tell you why i think it built a very large stable sample base it's very difficult to do that in india especially when everyone else is trying to gamify trying to infiltrate and do other things to it build something on the backbone of technology which is really strong and robust third it's put into place really good measurement processes and a great standard operating process which is being evaluated vetted and improved upon we've got a little bit of headroom left to build for stronger and stricter standards and we are going to do that in 2020 regardless we are going to do that remote if we have to we don't have to be in office to do it but we are going to put in some stricter standards to place and the industry is aware of this and they will see some of the shape out our next step is to build out a big multi screen charter uh we tried to do that some time back but it didn't fire it was not economically uh prudent maybe at that point of time but today we are seeing great growth in digital and i believe that's why i've held the one mark behind we'll build on that and we will have some announcements coming up fairly soon uh let me ask you this the same question in another way you know if 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 you were to compare the journey of the last 5 years of of bark to say a rajdhani express train journey from mumbai to delhi uh where do you think has has the rajdhani reached starting from mumbai surat baroda kota mathura no i would say it's been to delhi couple of times and come back right it's got to do this every day without fail that's what people don't realize and it's done it very very successfully every single day right there's all the challenges that we've had there has been a learning curve obviously because it came from scratch right it didn't come with any history of a research company but it not only set itself up as a research company it set itself up as a very integral part to the marketing services business you know it's not just the media business about it there's a marketing services part because it tells the advertisers how audiences are behaving how they are responding to changes that they see on television so that's an important part of of the currency that it's been that it's built like i said everything comes 
at a point of time. Today we see great growth in digital happening. Uh, it's two different ponds. You really can't compare them. You know, it's, so it may not be water and oil, but at the end of the day, the audience measurement system conventionally for television and for digital has been different. So trying to put it together is not the simple way to do it, but is to find a better way to understand which audience is watching TV, which audience is watching something on digital. Is that TV content? Is that not TV content, right? And let's not worry about the content. Let's worry about the audience and what they are doing, because that's what advertising will serve itself to. Right? Advertising will not always flock itself to content, it will flock to what audiences are there and the quality of the audience that is there. You know, let me use the, uh, the, the, the Rajani Express example. Uh, the, the, the problem is that there are so many people who are out to derail the train out there, right? You have you know, stakeholders who are always fighting with, with the measurement body. So it's, it's in a sense a thankless job. See, I think if you're not happy with your ratings, you have every right to argue. But you know, you got to fix your own ratings. If there's a problem with the system, the system will get fixed. Right? And I don't think there has been evidence to prove there's something which is a problem with the measurement system. People may be unhappy about their own ratings. They may want broader or narrower. I think, you know, India basically does not have a statistical backbone. We have an arithmetic backbone. So we look at percentages versus looking at statistics, right? And percentages are not part of statistics. And that's the basic flaw. So our marketing thinking sometimes get guided by that. You meet some of the smart marketers, they really understand statistics and they understand how this is to play out, right? It is sample based. It cannot be 100% evidence, right? So there are errors over there, which we publish to say that this is, if you're going to take a sharp cut, this is what's going to happen. And, and who better to understand this? Because you work with uh, entertainment channels, you work with a news channel, you work with uh, uh, you know, a production house. So you know, you know the, the requirements. And if you, if you were to... Put yourself in those shoes, uh, and, and 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 versus this, how would you how do you kind of uh, you know reconcile to uh, uh, to the kind of work Bach, Bach, Bach puts in? Just to not to counter you, but just to tick the box stuff. I've also been an advertiser and an agency person, right? Yes. So yes. I have been a member of the three fraternities, right? You've been a stakeholder, uh, yeah. Um, so um, so I I think what's really important for us is to not worry about just ratings alone, but to think about the currency, right? The currency is the volume of advertising, which is changing. We all know that India is behind the curve when it comes to the advertising to GDP ratio, right? So whether it's print, it's television, it's radio, it's out of home, it's cinema, and now it's in a large volume digital, right? Uh, we need to represent at least the audiovisual component, which is television, and we need to find ways to adequately represent what's happening in digital. And in television, it was fairly simple that the channels all had a, a feed over there. They needed to introduce an audio watermark into the system so we could measure it. In digital technology is different. Not everybody wants to get covered in it. But like in television, it came across. It took a few years. If you go back to Intam, right? you go back to the diary method. I've seen the diary method. You go to Intam, you go to TAM, you go to AMAP, you come to BART. There's been a journey for this industry, right? We are expecting the digital journey to happen overnight. It won't. There will be a job. So I think the best way to do is to say that, look, we represent what fuels the economy. What fuels the economy is advertising. What fuels advertising is audience. What fuels audience is content. To understand in this perspective, you're aligned to what needs to be done. You know, Sunil, I think you're being a little kind to the, the, the various people who are barking all the time. Uh, it, That's it, the way I am. I can't change that. But, but it's it's indeed unfortunate, right? That you have you have broadcasters who are taking your case, you have the government taking your case, and it, the fact of the matter is that this is a, a statistical exercise. It is. So, so what do you keep telling them every every week, week after week, uh, in in terms of you know them cribbing and 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 they used to do that with Tam earlier. You've seen it all. Over yeah. So I think the difference between TAM and BARC is BARC got built on the insistence of the three representative industry bodies. It got built taking into consideration those three in, three representative bodies, right? So uh, you got to see what the bite is versus what the BARC is. And I think if you see that the networks which really account for a large part of the currency over here or the advertiser account for a large part of the currency here and the agency who represent them, 
are reasonably happy with what's happening over here, right? We have been transparent. In uh, January onwards, we did a, a set of roadshows, 10 cities, 11 roadshows, giving industry an update. Uh, with the work from home and lockdown starting, we have started doing a webinar every Thursday, right? Why do we do that? We do that to navigate the industry, to understand audiences, to understand the currency better. Uh, I'm not here to please anybody, neither am I here to displease anybody, neither is anybody in the company. We understand our goal is we want to be the best in measurement science when it comes to audiovisual con content in this country. There could be a differing view on it. We're here to learn. Everybody who wants to come and guide us, most welcome to join, right? The government will do its job. I mean, industry has been very clear. Leave us alone, we are self-regulated. We know how to manage. Now, they may have a point of view and so be it. I think we know how to respond to the government and its challenges. I'm going to ask you a, a, a sensitive question and, you know, nothing concerning the TRI thing, but do you think the government has a role at all in, in, a, in audience measurement? No, it doesn't. It's an industry affair. I mean, for so many years, it was a private affair, right? AMAP, TAM, INTAM, all private bodies. It's research for what is done. This has just become that what's happened is there are a large number of news channels in this country, which trade on advertising. And, you know, therefore, this becomes a bigger conversation. But the government has absolutely no role in, in determining what should what the audience should be. We are open to audit. We're very happy to have the audit whenever anybody wants. We do a number of process audits. And I think we are in really good and strong shape. Yes, we've got to put some more boxes out there, but that's a continuous process, right? If you're running a factory, every day there's input and there's output. You've got to manage that. Hand on your heart, Sunil. Uh, do you think the, the biggest problem with for, for audience measurement is the news channel business? If you did not have news channels, uh, uh, you know, handing out ratings every week, it, the, the, the half the problems that you have would be solved. Your, your comment? <laughs> you know, I'd miss them if they weren't there, right? So at the end of the day, I think they had... Arnab. Do you miss Arnab, uh, uh, Sunil? He's on TV every night. Okay, uh, and I do talk to him often enough, right? I think, I think he is actually outside his TV avatar, fairly rational, calm, and very easy to deal with. I've known that for more than 10 years that we work together. But I think at the end of the day, right, even news has a role to play in society. Now, there could be channels with very small audience share, very small audience reach, right? And I think the best thing to do, frankly, if you ask me a sim single line message, is just measure your numbers at a two plus level. If you're Tamil, two plus Tamil. If you're Bengali, two plus Tamil. Uh, Bengali, if you're Hindi, two plus Hindi. Don't get into further complicated formulas. You do that, and that's a straight line measure. I think the industry, the advertising industry, every time it's going to they say that's the best thing to do. And that's what marketing uh, marketing folk love to do, right? Yeah. Using data and, and present it in, in various forms. Okay, let's let's move to you know uh, to, to the future. Uh, five years of uh, operations, ten years since you were incorporated. What 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 can one expect five years from now? So our, char our charter has always been India, and we will stay uh, stay true to the charter of India. I think one we should see the strength of our measurement processes go up because I think they will improve over time, right? As we learn statistically. Two, technology should really come into play. So today, while we have meters, hopefully we will have, you know, new additive technology that are good, robust, that are being experimented with a large part of the world. Now, some of them look very cool and things that look cool are not always robust and do not always work, right? Uh, I think... Uh, we should look at representing audiovisual, so television plus digital, right? Both of those concerned together as a currency. So we should look at that and anything else that emerges from here. I think the industry also needs to learn a few things. One word is patience. That's really important because we are in this collectively, right? I think the industry also needs to get used to how statistics work. There's something called the bell shape. It works everywhere in, in the world, right? When you get... When you're on top of the bell shape and you create a great, a great salary increment, you love the bell shape. When you're on the bottom of the tail and you don't get what you hit the bell shape, right? So this applies everywhere. And I think somewhere the industry needs to understand measurement works in its favor, not against it. And in any measurement, there is one winner or one on top. 
and one with less. Now you can write your story based on who you are and what you are. You know, but losers are never very happy, right? No, I think that, you know, the art of differentiating and the science of differentiating is something we as marketeers have to learn better. Okay, the last five weeks have seen you present reports, you know, fantastic uh, uh, response to it, almost thousand people every week, uh, you know, on how television has been faring in the, in the lockdown. And then you're sharing the platform with Nielsen. In a sense, uh, you're addressing of complaints of uh, ACOM not taking off. Uh, a straight question, will ACOM or, or, or digital measurement uh, happen at, 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 uh, in, in the near future? When will that happen? So we are going to be releasing a product in July or June. We've got to see how things work with the lockdown, right? We're not sure of some of the, because something we need to physically do in our facilities. Uh, but we are going to be releasing a product that's going to do the initial representation of digital with some of the audiences that we've been measuring for some time. We are hoping by 2021, we have a product out there that is usable by almost everybody in terms of measuring digital. Now, there will be steps that we need to take. There will be steps because we are working with some broadcasters, we're working with some advertisers and some agencies to get their collective inputs. So we formed a committee of getting this collective input. So we're hoping to get this out next year, starting next year. And, and what about the big digital players? You know, I, I, I'm told the last time around, the big digital players were, uh, were, were you know, the spoke in the wheel. So the way I look at it is if you're representing a currency, you wish to participate, participate, don't wish to participate. We are not going to stop what we are doing. I think sometimes you have to call that bluff. Right? You're going to do it. People are going to join you. So the same 233 news channels will come. Right? They'll make enough noise if they have to make. Right? Because they want their viewing measure. What did you see from all those six reports? Right? Two things stood out. News really peaked. Both on TV and digital. So the news broadcasting community is acutely aware that... Whenever there's a news event, people will turn to the closest device. It may be TV, it may be a phone, it may be something else to look for news. Right? And they would like the video expression first before they get any other expression of it. Entertainment is seeing the same things. You know, I don't think our homes are going to be those where 50% of the homes are going to have two TVs, not even in the next 10 years. Yeah, you have 100 million homes uh, without you get a TV. Right? So we've got a long way to go. And I think that is important. That industry may, may, may not take 10 years to get 100 million homes covered. It may happen faster. That depends on the economic development. So I think that, you know, we're going to start seeing TV growth. We will certainly see digital happen. And we will we'll work our way through to make this happen. We've so far been able to convince the industry of many th initiatives that we've done, understanding the industry's needs. And I think we should hopefully get there. Uh, you know, one of the one of the constant uh, bickerings, uh, if I might say, about uh, about Bach is uh, on the composition of the share of the stakehold of the shareholding. Right? You have sixty percent of of, of Bach is owned by broadcasters, advertising and uh, advertisers and ad agencies have twenty percent each. So does this give broadcasters too much of a say in Bach affairs? I know the tech firm has an equal uh, representation, but. Uh, uh, clearly, the broadcasters pay for, uh, uh, you know, pay 60% of, of, of the fees. No, they may have a shareholding difference. The fees come from all kinds of clients. Okay. okay. Our biggest client who pays us is not even a broadcaster. So let's be clear about this, right? We have, there is an allegiance we have to the board because the board is our governing body. Right? But the board does not interfere in day-to-day -day matters. We have a technical committee which helps us craft our measurement process. We have an oversight committee which reviews many of our standard operating procedures. There are more than 36 standard operating procedures it reviews. And it does that every week, picking up different things, reviewing it, enhancing it, improving it. It stands alone from the technical committee. From the technical committee, the, the OC actually has one representative of the board, which right now is a three years of high representative, and it has one expert. The techcom is equally represented; is chaired by a three years of high member, right? Which is Mr. Shashi Sena. Right? He's brought a lot to the table. There is a disciplinary committee, which is chaired by Justice Mukdal, 
which ensure that there is you know discipline maintained in terms of no no infiltration of homes and puts our process out there very judiciously so i think the way bark runs it it runs with a large set of intelligent privileged people i'd like to call it the council of elders right there are different subgroups of council of elders which actually navigate and the company works really well with different set of council of elders and there is never a conflict between one and the other so we able to manage working with them the shareholding is a structural pattern no decision has been made in the board in which any one voice has overruled the other voice so there's no one, no one trying to play big brother nobody no is big brother in this because you know this is we know this business it's entertainment and shows business and news business is a hits and misses business tonight you're famous tomorrow you're not right but what's important is keep consistency for the advertisers right come back to the currency all the time sunil tell me you know when you joined uh, uh, bark last year you obviously knew what you were getting into when you took on this assignment yeah so i went and ran the new york marathon because i knew i should run that before i start this marathon so so which requires more more endurance the marathon uh, in 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 real life or the marathon here at uh, bark if, if i don't run uh, often enough which i'm not doing now it becomes difficult to run the operation so you got to have the stamina to do this but, but i i think that first of all like i said i treat a board and our various committees as a council of elders right they don't sit together they sit separately in terms of when they convene with us but they are well connected they have they are uh, they have deep interest in what we do our council of elders many of them have attended all our sessions whether it's webinars whether it's bark connect uh, it's our anniversary tomorrow on on the 29th and some of them are attending that right online so i think that this council of elders are really interested in only one thing a neutral first class measurement process and a transparent one as uh... absolutely transparent i mean i don't know what the ratings of channel a or b are going to be i see the numbers i see what's coming out we look at the data we look more for data sanctity data integrity and then it's processed uh any cause for sleepless nights is there does that does that does the job keep you uh you know awake often enough wednesday nights uh, or thursday nights after the ratings are out i've spent 59 years surviving this planet and i managed to sleep almost very well every night and after the 58 years you you still took up this thing knowing fully well what you are what you're going to be uh, possibly experiencing the only way to stay alive and young is to put yourself with challenges in areas that you think you can you can learn the most one last word to uh, uh, stakeholders and constituents as uh, you celebrate 5 years keep the faith keep encouraging us to do what we do better help us to be the best because we are here to serve you without you we'd be nowhere a, a word to naysayers no i i only play to my strengths and to bark strengths okay. thank you thank you sunil and and happy anniversary once again thank you so much you and and, and to the entire bark family thank you thank you, thank you. take care thank you bye